So, in what seems like a bit of a plot twist in the Tommy Conway transfer saga, Burnley have officially joined the race alongside Middlesbrough in the pursuit of the striker. And it looks like Bristol City are in talks with the Clarets over an ambitious double swap deal. We'll talk all about it. So, earlier this week, Middlesbrough put in an official bid for Tommy Conway. I talked all about that in my previous video. You can check that out after you watch this one. And it was a bid that was potentially worth up to £5 million. But I talked all about the kind of minor details of that bid in the other video. So, and it looks like Burnley have officially joined Middlesbrough uh, in the race for Tommy Conway. It doesn't mention anywhere in the article by Bristol City Live that there's been any sort of bid by Burnley. But it certainly looks like there is definite concrete interest there for Tommy Conway. Now, Burnley is a club of massive interest to Bristol City and Bristol City fans this summer because a certain Scott Twine is contracted by Burnley. He spent the last six months of last season on loan at Ashton Gate. And it's been no secret that Bristol City are after him again this summer on a permanent basis. And again, we're being quite flexible with that. If it's not a permanent deal, we're more than happy for it to be a kind of loan with an option to buy. So if there's any interest, any real interest from Burnley in Tommy Conway, could we possibly leverage a deal for Scott Twine as well? But there's another player who's been kind of added in as part of this deal that I didn't really see kind of coming to Bristol City in any sense this summer. So what is the crux behind this latest Burnley kind of deal that Bristol City are trying to work out? We're obviously trying to send Tommy Conway over to Turf Moor, but in return, Bristol City are in talks with Burnley over a potential swap deal for Tommy Conway in sending Scott Twine and Irish centre-back Luke McNally the other way as well. So, who is Luke McNally then? He's a 24-year-old for Republic of Ireland centre-back, still on the books of Burnley. And he was signed from Oxford United, an ex-Oxford United centre-back. Have we heard this story before at Bristol City? And hasn't really had a fair look in at Turf Moor since joining in the summer of 2022, when Burnley were just newly relegated from the Premier League and just appointed Vincent Company. And there was a massive squad rebuild. And him, similar to kind of Scott Twine, got kind of caught in the massive rebuild there and hasn't really had a fair look in at Burnley and has only made four appearances since joining in 2022 has spent six months out on loan at Coventry aiding them to a playoff finish and to the playoff final in fact and last season spent the full season out on loan at Stoke City where Stoke despite them struggling he had a fairly decent campaign so from a British City perspective if he does sign Luke McNally has proven himself to be a very very good very capable centre-back at championship level who is very comfortable on the ball and similar to Scott Twine in the same season in fact has proven himself to be a very very good league one hot commodity really and that's the reason why Vincent Company and Burnley in the same summer signed both Scott Twine and Luke McNally so if this double deal was to come off you'd be getting two really two really really good players who've proven themselves to, uh, very worthy at league one level it's just about whether they can consistently perform on a regular basis at championship level. McNally made 36 starts for Stoke City last season uh, in a bit of an underwhelming season for Stoke as a club but that those 36 starts shows that he was a bit of a mainstay and, and Stoke transitioned from an Alex Neal side to a Stephen Schumacher side from back threes to back fours. He was kind of a mainstay and a bit of a shining light in that team so that's real credit to him and real credit to him as a player and especially considering he's only there on loan it would have been easy to kind of ship him out or not play him too many times because you might have wanted to give a permanent player a chance. But to keep him in that team was a massive credit to Luke McNally. And hopefully, if this deal does happen, if that transition can hopefully be a smooth one and he can really adapt well here at Bristol City. So why are Bristol City kind of in talks for a centre-back when we've been looking at forwards all summer? It's been pretty evident that we have been targeting forwards as our main kind of area for improvement this summer well if you look at our centre-back options we do have a lot of centre-backs from Rob Dickey to Cal Naismith to Hayden Roberts potentially Zach Viner obviously so we do have a lot of options there we're kind of lacking in terms of options at right centre-back 
we only really have Zach Viner at the moment. Rob Dickey can potentially play there, but he has been favoured in the middle of a back three or on the left-hand side of a back four if it is a centre-back pairing. So we are kind of lacking centre-backs on the right-hand side of a back three or even a centre-back pairing. So Luke McNally would fit perfectly that sort of bill. So to have someone to provide those sort of options would be nice to have. That would also mean if Zach Viner, touch wood, this doesn't happen, does get an injury that means he's out for any longer period of time and we are playing a back three and it's well going well, well, that would mean either one of Ross McCrory or George Tanner or Cam Fring or something of that nature would have to happen and he'd then have to move into centre-back. We just don't really want that at this moment in time. It would just be very... Um, which is not ideal from a Bristol City perspective. So to have someone like McNally as an option or even as a starting centre-back in a back three would be very, very helpful from a Bristol City perspective. So what do I think about this double deal then? I do think that both Scott Twine and Luke McNally hold real qualities about them and are both very, very good championship players and have proven themselves to be quite competent at this level. And, well, despite Tommy Conway going, would be bit of a blow from a Bristol City perspective considering he's our leading goal scorer from last season he hasn't really shown a hell of a lot and obviously you can't ignore the fact that a lot of the goals have been penalties as well it would be not easily replaceable I'm not saying that I'm saying there is excitement to go and then replace Tommy Conway with possibly another forward coming in through the door Ashton Gate there'll mean a lot of movement and there'll be a lot of turnover as well that could cause a bit of turmoil and a bit of a slow start but it also does mean excitement. Twine, we know what we're getting from him, and Manning has worked with him for enough time now, we know what we're getting from him. McNally would be a bit more of an unknown, but he's been in the championship for a couple of seasons now, and he knows the division, and he's proven himself again, as I said, very competent, very short at this level. So I'd say a massive tick in the box for both Twine and McNally, if that does come in. The only kind of little bit of a problem with this deal is that maybe that's, I don't know, maybe it's not a problem, maybe it's a compromise on the fact that we're getting two players the other way, uh, is that we don't actually get possibly what's being reported, we don't actually get any money for Tommy Conway, which is a bit of a kind of thing in the back of your mind that is regarding FFP and whatnot and maybe then going and financing another forward will be tough, but we're getting two excellent players in return from a side who have dominated the championship the last time they were here and again are one of the strongest favorites uh, this time around as well so i don't know you let me know your thoughts on this possible double deal but that is it from me thank you everyone for watching this uh, video it's been a bit of a whirlwind few days in the British city circle considering uh, tommy conway and two clubs now really interested in signing uh the Bristol City Academy product. Uh, what are your thoughts on a potential double swap deal with Scott Twine and Luke McNally coming down to Ashton Gate? Would you like to see them both coming down to Ashton Gate? I know there's been a few kind of kind of little quirks about Scott Twine and whether actually he really has warranted a permanent transfer, especially for the money that was potentially talked about. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And Luke McNally as well, if he does join, what would the qualities he would add? And well, it'll be another Oxford centre back, an ex Oxford centre back as well that would be quite the collection we are racking up here in bs3 but yeah thank you very much for watching everyone keep safe and i'll catch you all later cheers